Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, what we got going today is probably is what you've seen from the title is uh, we're gonna make some little helpers for our awning that we have going. So as uh, most of you know, that have these carefree of Colorado awnings. Everybody that has them pretty much knows they're POS. So what really happens, if you get a, a win even 10 20 miles per hour it will uh you know start lifting up on the awnings if you get a wind of 30 miles per hour most of the time it will uh, lift them right off and do a little uh, roof slap um, it breaks the the brackets which are about right right there they'll bend uh, some of those and to buy a new one uh, they don't sell any little parts and pieces of it it is a uh, the full bracket itself uh, they run about 600 bucks so uh, I figured I'd do a little video on on a little thing that I came up with and uh, hopefully we'll be able to save a couple of those so so here's basically what I did PVC pipe so you guys can see there uh, this is just inch and a half inch and a half inch and a half so I, I made it basically out of two, well, an inch and a half for the, the pipe. And then uh, I used that kind of like as the jack and then a two inch piece of PVC that a one and a half inch will slide into. So that is the actual jack, how you get these. Start off, we went inch and a half, inch and a half, inch and a half uh, T intersection T connector I think is what it was called so we we went with that uh, how I got this is I just went most awnings are going to be like three inches four inches something like that I just kind of guessed on one of them uh, took a drill started drilling out both sides of this and then took a little hacksaw kind of finished it off and then I took a, a rasp or a, a metal file and just went all the way around made it as smooth as I could so it didn't mar up anything on the edge here cut that piece about uh just an inch and a quarter or so uh, because i use a ratchet strap and i'll show you where that connects um, up on the top here but uh, if this is where the cylinder is sitting i put a ratchet strap down here goes over the top and down to the ground and so that's going to wrap around the cylinder like so to hold it from going up and down, moving anywhere. Now that ratchet strap goes all the way down to the ground, get about a 15 footer if you do that. I put a stake in the ground, hammer it in, ratchet it down so it's it's tight. You don't want it to be moving, but uh, you don't want to crush the actual cylinder that sits up here. So did that, filed that all out, did an inch and a half, a uh, little cutout right here. And that is to hold the ratchet strap in there so it doesn't come off to either side. It's just like a little guide for it. So after the T connector is on there, inch and a half, about a three inch piece, and then went with a two to one and a half inch reducer. So I know it's the black, usually they have them in white. Home Depot is out of them, so here we got the black one. So, um, so that's it for there. Now the inch and a half to two inch reducer is going to fit on the two inch pipe so up on top there it just goes in you can see that that is a three eighths inch hole that is where the ratchet strap goes into and then you line it up with this ratchet strap goes into there goes up and over the cylinder and down to the ground so you can if you want to go ahead and glue these on i did not uh, yet because I'm going to paint these uh, I just wanted to make sure everything was going to work and I didn't have to make any adjustments to it so I've already made one and I'll tell you that uh, about that here in just a second but uh, I've already made one adjustment to it so I just wanted to make sure everything was going good before I painted this you know kind of like a gunmetal gray type color that's kind of going to work with the rig here so um, so after that, you got the about six inches down is where I put that top hole for the ratchet. Down here, I put another hole. Now we're about 
three quarters of the way down, uh, maybe five eighths of the way down from the top. Uh, I just put another hole. This goes all the way through. What I did that for is for this three eighths inch or uh, uh, three eighths inch uh, screw washers on each end, and then a three eighths three eighths inch nut. Got right there. That is actually going to go through this entire assembly, and it's going to hold my height adjustment. So how do you get the height adjustment adjustment going? Just like this. So this is the inch and a half that I call the jack. This goes inside the two inch. And what I did is measured off two inches. Every, every two inches, I measured it off. I put it inside and used my two inch pipe. That hole right there, I used it as the guide. So when you take your drill, straight down. Um, I just put some markings on there so when you're siding this thing up I just I use that so that way you don't because you'll never be able to see where your mark is inside here inside the two inch so I just put it down on the bottom slid it up every two inches and you can see there that's actually where the bottom was and these were all where the holes are so a little helpful hint there um, and then at the very end of my two inch pipe right there I put another hole now as many of you know I have a 376 th that means that um, I can put my Harley in the back it's a smaller garage than an actual toy hauler um, but it's basically like a nine foot I, I got about nine foot that I can do so this is where I cut the two inch pipe PVC pipe I basically cut it with the addition onto the top at about nine foot and that way I can slide it in with the wheel chalk and it fits up to uh, you know an inch within the door um, I got the clearance there and that's where I store it so after I get it take it down disassemble it that bottom hole is where I put the screw in and uh, that holds all of this together as one piece and then the top holds it from sliding out take it out one piece fits into everything and you're good to go the cost you're going to be about 20 bucks per so i have four of them one two and then i have a another awning so you're going to need one awning you're going to need two of them uh, they ran me about 20 bucks at home depot um, and it took pretty much all day to figure it out how i wanted to do it i had to run back there uh, the next day because I didn't engineer it good enough I would go with the two inch for the outside I would do an inch and a half PVC for the the jack part the part that actually moves um, if you do it the other way around your inch and a half is going to start to bend when you kind of when you pull it tight it's going to start to bend it doesn't have the strength that a two inch does uh, it works good for just the jack because it's you know almost eight feet long or whatever it is um, inside there so it's a, a little heavy heavy duty that way um, and it's been working out really really well so you know every two inches is what I did from 9 to 12 feet which is well you can figure it out what 15 holes ish somewhere around in there per so uh, I did 60 holes um, if I would have done one inch, you would have had 120 holes that you would have to drill. Instead of doing that, this is where the bolt goes through. I'm just going to drop it down one inch and do another hole. That way I have one inch adjustments. It'd be a lot easier than trying to do 60 more holes, uh, you know, every inch or whatever. So uh, do it a little bit smarter. And plus it will keep the integrity of uh, the PVC pipe a lot better if you don't put in too many holes on that so here's our setup now I got the ladder out here I'm actually going to climb up there and show you what uh, we're kind of talking about so uh, let's get to it Hopefully, unless I get the Sun too far in my view here should come out 
All right, so now we're up here where the inch and a half, the inch and a half T is, with just a little bit of a give right there where that sits around on the awning. Just like that. As you can see here, this is where we got the notched out to accept the uh, strap. And on the other side, Here's where we got right here, that uh, 3 8 hole where I put the ratchet strap in. It goes up and over the top, and down to the other side. So we can guys back around here. So this is the two inch, the two and a half inch to, or uh, inch and a half to two inch reducer. And then that little uh, piece up there of inch and a half goes down to the two inch. And then, just take you guys on down here. All right, so this is also the two inch. Uh, there's where you see where we got the bolt nut going through. And here's what I'm calling the, the jack right here. So I also put on uh, just one of these right here. It's about the only thing I use this for. We bought it when we got the rig and yeah, a couple things here and there. But uh, by doing this, it kind of keeps everything in here. It's not like it's gonna move, but if uh, you did want to kind of tighten it down a little bit, you could always put a couple more stakes right through there and it would hold it down for you so get over here here is our uh, inch strap and that is run down to the ratchet and right there put a stake uh, I would hammer that all the way in and then just want to give it a couple clicks so you get that as tight as you want it and there you go guys that's all there is to it and then, uh, of course, that is adjustable. I do not have my awnings rolled out the whole way right now. I actually rolled them back in to do this uh, video because normally they, you know, hang down a foot and then they sit there and kind of flap in the wind. But uh, hopefully it's a little bit shorter than our last couple videos we've done. And there you go, guys. All right, appreciate you guys tuning in. If you got any questions, let me know down on the bottom. Until next time, throw the bones.